In this video, we want to find the points of intersection, if any, of the line x plus 2y equals 0 and the circle x minus 1 quantity squared plus y minus 1 quantity squared is equal to 5. So basically, it's just solving a nonlinear system of equations. The first one is linear, but the second one represents a circle. So that one is uh, degree 2, it's nonlinear. So we call it a nonlinear system. So in this type of situation, you've got a circle and a line. So the line can cross or intersect the circle at two points, which means you'd have two ordered pair solutions. It can be tangent to the circle. So we intersected at one point, we have one ordered pair solution. Or the line and the circle may not intersect, and there's no real solution. So this one we can solve basically using combination of elimination, or substitution. So let's let x, let's let x equal to, or solve the first uh, equation, the line, x plus 2y equals 0 for x. So that gives me x is equal to minus 2y. And then over here in the second equation, I'm going to replace the x by minus 2y. So in the first parentheses, I got minus 2y for x minus 1, and then quantity squared. And then the second one, I just leave it. So by making this substitution, instead of having two variables x and y, now I only have one variable, and that's y. So I can do the algebra here, simplify this. So this quantity squared would give me the minus 2y squared, which would be 4y squared. And then the product of these two terms would be a plus 2y. And then it's plus the second term squared, that's a negative 1 squared is a 1. The same thing is multiplying minus 2y minus 1, and then multiplying it by minus 2y minus 1. You're squaring it. And for the second one, again, it's y minus 1 quantity squared, so it gives me the y squared, which will give me this. Got a sign of minus there, so it's minus the product of those, twice the product there, so it'll be 2y. And it's plus the second term squared. Negative 1 squared is a plus 1. And that equals to 5. And then we just simply co collect terms. So y squared and 4y squared is a 5y squared. And this should be a 4 here. Let's double the product. So then here we have a minus 2y and a plus 4y. So that gives me a plus 2y. And then I got a 1 and a 1 is 2. I bring the 5 over, that's a negative 5. So it's negative 5 and 2 is a minus 3. So now we got a quadratic here. 5y squared plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. And then we just factor this out. If it doesn't factor, then you would go to the quadratic formula. Or the method of completing the square. So this one then is going to be a 5y here. For the 5y squared and a y here. The 3 has factors of 1 and 3, so let's, then we can either use minus or a plus, so let's say minus 3 and a plus 1, then we double check here, y times 5y gives me 5y squared, that checks out, negative 3 times 1, that gives me a negative 3, and then the inner product here is a negative 3y, and the outer product over here is 5y, that checks out 2y. And then we set each factor equal to zero. Product of two factors equal to zero means one or the other or both are zero. So 5y minus 3 equals zero or y plus 1 is equal to zero. And then we solve each of these linear equations here for y. Add three to both sides here. We get a 3 there. And then divide by 5. Both sides by 5. I get y can be 3 fifths. Then y plus 1 is equal to 0. That means that y could be negative 1. And then we're looking for the points of intersection. And the points of intersection will be points where the y value is 3 fifths for one of them and negative 1 for the other one. So let's just put in 3 fifths here. y can be 3 fifths. We need the x. So let's just go back to this one here. That's 3 fifths there. So that's going to give us a negative negative six fifths. So the circle and the line intersect at one point, which would be negative six fifths. 
and 3 fifths. And the second point has y coordinate of negative 1. Go back to this equation right here. Put a negative 1 right there. That's a 2, negative 1. So the points of intersection then for the line and the circle are negative 6 fifths and 3 fifths and 2 and negative 1. These are the points. And that's also the solution for this, this uh, nonlinear system. You can easily check by going back and replacing the x by 2 and the y by negative 1 and make sure that you have equality for that one. And then for the, set, the first point, negative 6 fifths, replace the x by negative 6 fifths in each equation and the y by 3 fifths. And then you, you should get the number on the uh, right, right side. That's your check if you want to do that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.